So for the last couple of weeks, I'm sure a lot of people have noticed that it's been rough in the global market. Prices have been coming down here in South Africa and around the world as well. Share prices have been coming down. And because of this, I've been getting a lot of uh, questions on my uh, Instagram DMs and on WhatsApp. People asking a question, and I think it's time I answered that question. And that is when to leave an investment when you're losing money all right no one likes to lose money but unfortunately as part of investing we sometimes do have to take losses however there are different ways to analyze losses we don't just close um, our investments we have to first understand a few factors that will actually guide us to make decisions and so today i'm going to be looking at the different level of losses so the different levels of losses and how you can use them to sort of make decisions on when to leave um, your portfolio. So let's get going. The first level of loss is the portfolio level. This is when your overall portfolio loses money. So I'm going to go to my international uh, portfolio here and we're going to just uh, scroll up a bit. Look at something cool. So invested amount is $15,000 and the current return is negative 10%. So a loss of $1,575. Ouch. And so that represents a 10% loss. If I was to sell all the assets in the portfolio, I would lose 10% of my money. Now, when you look at your overall portfolio, you have to have some hard rules. My hard rule is that if it goes down to 15%, so negative 15%, I start reviewing the portfolio. And if it hits a 20% loss, I close all the positions, good and bad positions, all of them get closed. And this is something that's very important. People will sometimes stay and hold on to positions and they'll then carry on losing money, not knowing why they are losing money. And it's very, very important that you actually close positions, all your positions and reassess your portfolio. You're gonna have to set rules. The rules are going to be based on a few factors, but mainly I look at my risk tolerance. I'm willing to lose 20% to make the returns that I target. And of course, the expected volatility of the overall portfolio. I know at any given moment, my portfolio can go down 10%, 11%, 12%, and it can also go up 23%, 30%, 40%, 50%. And I'm willing to take a certain type of risk. You also have to set rules for yourself for your overall portfolio. If you see a loss that you don't like in the overall portfolio, close all your trades and then reassess your portfolio, reassess your investment ideas. And then the second level of loss is the theme situation change. So if something changes, in the theme so let's say you are invested in a particular um, industry and something changes in that industry then it's time for you to reconsider um, my your, your investing thesis basically your investments idea whatever prediction you had made about the future if there's a huge change that affects that prediction negatively then you have to go so the question you'll ask yourself is will the prediction or the situation or the scenario that you're thinking is going to happen still play out the same way according to your timeline if the answer is no because of whatever's happened in the economy exit the investments if the answer is yes then ignore the noise in between sometimes when we are investing there'll be a lot of noise like so for example someone who invested in ShopRite, say in 2016 they can see the stock go up and they can see it go down quite a lot but if they'd planned to hold up until let's say 2022 then they would know all of this because to them this is just noise they know by 2022 the share price will be higher than the price that they went in and so they're willing to actually continue to hold because for this timeline, you can see they make actually quite a decent amount of money. So you can see the green line over there. You can see there's, there's a very nice healthy return um, on, that, um, on that investment. So if you're somebody who invested round about here, and now the share price is obviously here. You've made some money in all of this. You know, the share price coming up and then going down is something that you would have ignored. So just always consider that as well when you are investing. Similar to the theme situation change is the, indus is the industry change. If a situation in the economy occurs that turns the market against the industry that you're investing in or the various industries that you have invested in and you cannot predict if things will change for the better, then it's time for you to consider perhaps uh, leaving that um leaving those investments. So lovely here on TradingView, you can actually check out um, the list of industries that are in South Africa and see how they perform. If you can click, if you click on one, then you'll see how the overall industry is performing, you know, the stocks that are in it and how it's actually growing or not growing. And then it'll help you analyze and decide what to actually do about the particular investment that you've made. 
And if things there aren't looking good, close the positions that are in that industry and then reassess your investment ideas. Then lastly, there's the asset level. And this is where people tend to stress quite a bit. They'll look at an individual share and say, oh my gosh, this is such a huge loss. Let me exit the trade. The reason that's probably happening is that you have no prediction that you've made about that company. You A, probably also don't understand that company and B, you don't know the future of that company. So now you're panicking. You threw money in and you don't know what's actually going on. So at the asset level, if something happens to the individual share bond or commodity that you're in, then you have to make some decisions about whether staying or leaving. So for example, if the company is expected to perform badly in the future or the market turns against your company's shares and you're at a loss, then it's probably time for you to consider leaving the investments and then maybe coming back when you have a better idea that will maybe support your, your thesis on investing in that company. Then of course, use good old technical analysis. So that basically means analyzing charts. So I'd say it's a combination of analyzing the company itself understand the company what's going on at that company and then obviously analyze the price of the share sometimes it's a good company but unfortunately for whatever reason the market doesn't love the company so for example um, here on ShopRite Holdings, I know that whenever ShopRite hits a price above 200, 206 rands a share, um, it most likely will come down. So you can look at here over its history since about 2012, whenever it hits this price range here, the share price comes down. You see it hits us again, 205, it comes down. And then eventually, you know, it stayed up a little bit, but it, it, it will eventually come down. And then whenever it hits below around about 132, it generally comes back up just to only return back down again. So at this range where it is now a bit dangerous but of course the economy is changing so we don't know exactly what's going to happen i think ShopRite is going to perform pretty well because of inflation and the increase in interest rates but that's a story for another day so those are the ways you analyze your losses. You want to understand what's going on at each level of the investment uh, case. You want to understand what's going on with your portfolio. If things um, are going badly with your portfolio and you've set rules in place, exit all the trades, reassess your investing ideas. Number two, if the themes or situations that you're investing in have changed for the worse for you, then exit all your investments and reconsider your ideas. Number three, if things change in your industry, reconsider, well, things change in the industries that you're investing in, then reconsider the investments. If you can see that things aren't going to get better, very, very important. If you can predict that things aren't going to get better, then it's time for you to exit those investments. And number four, at the asset level, regardless of what asset it is, analyze the assets, understand what's going to be happening to it in the future. And if you can see that things aren't going to get better, rather exit the investments and come back maybe when there's new data, new information that will drive your investment um, case a, a lot better. Very, very important. Losses aren't all the same. Losses are part of investing, right? So if I just go back to my portfolio here, you can see that's a 10% negative. Obviously, this, this loss is only realized if I do sell. If I don't sell, then I might ne never actually see this loss because things might return back up. I'm tech heavy, so a lot of my investments are in the technology sector, and there's some big losses here. In fact, I'll show you some of the big losses that really keep me up at night. So they don't really keep me up at night, but they do. Uh, so for example, Airbnb. Um, yeah, Airbnb, it's been rough. I'll scroll down here. 30% loss on this trade if I obviously do sell. But my thesis on Airbnb hasn't changed. And that's why I haven't sold the share. Very, very important. You must understand sometimes your thesis hasn't changed on a particular stock, but rather the market for the short term has turned against it. And I know what's going on with Airbnb, why money has been pulled out of it and why money is flocking to other assets. And so I'm not selling because I know what's going on. And that's very, very key. If you don't know what's going on with the investments, then probably you should sell if you're at a loss because it means you have no idea why you're in that investment. Amazon as well, down 10%. Amazon has been one of my biggest losers. And of course, one of my biggest winners historically, but I still believe in Amazon. I have a particular thesis about the company and that's why I'm still there. I'm trying to find a really big one. DoorDash, horrible. I'm still there, 67% down but I know why I'm staying with this particular uh, stock. I have a particular thesis about delivery and food and I'm going to be in it for the long run. So those are some of the things that you have to consider when you are investing. When do you leave? If the situation has changed, then definitely leave. Or if you don't know what's actually going on, then definitely do leave. So yeah, those are the ways that you make decisions and analyze your losses. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wanted to do it pretty quick, right? So I hope I didn't speak too fast. But anyway, subscribe, um, follow if you're watching this on Instagram and subscribe if you're watching this on youtube enjoy the rest of your tuesday everybody 
and uh, goodbye. <laughs>